This game is just absolutely brutal. Now I found this one on chess.com. There's a brilliant article around the best moves Firuja played on chess.com. He's not played there for like a year now, which is just such a shame. He's also disappeared from over the board chess in the last six months. He's played one tournament, although he is back in the candidates this month. I'll be covering those games. But this stuff on chess.com is really where he made a name for himself, smashing up his opponents. Now this is against a really strong IM from Vietnam called Tan Minh Le. He's won title Tuesday before, just a crazy good player for an international master. He'll probably be a GM soon. Now Ali Reza had white here, this was blitz chess and he smashes the guy up in just 31 moves. So he kicks off with knight to f3 here, we had d5 and he goes for this king's Indian attack setup. Black, for their part, goes for this Slav pawn structure here with this c6, d5 setup. Bishop g2, and the bishop comes outside the pawn chain here, so that after castles, now e6, you've got your bishop outside of that chain, but now it can be chased around here. And Ali Reza starts doing that immediately. He jumps the knight. Black says, you're not having it so easily. I'll trade mine for yours. Do you want to push f3, kind of damage your pawn structure, then where's your knight jumping to? So instead Ali Reza just comes back here, we see this bit of tickle. Now this bishop develops on the king side, Ali Reza comes with the knight, attacks the bishop again, it drops back, and now he jumps in with this one. Finally he's actually picking up this bishop here, so black just continues developing, and even though Ali Reza picks up the bishop pair here, black is very very solid c3 from Ali Reza, now bishop to d6, and this is a theme of the game by the way, this bishop just bounces back and forth, can't make up its mind, always a recipe for disaster, count how many times it goes to e7 and d6, it's crazy, and then the queen as well just really struggles to find a square in this game. So Ali Reza now breaks with e4, very standard move, we have a captures in the centre, the knight takes, and we get this mass liquidation on e4, after the knight jumps in, the bishop drops back. So white's got the bishop pair, also the space in the center, definitely better out of the opening, but not by too much really. Black's got this solid kind of Karo Khan pawn structure, and it's not easy to break through just yet. So castles from black, both players now carry on developing their pieces, and here Ali Reza goes bishop to g5, now, you could push pawn e5 here, and in the end, the way the game turns out, maybe black should have gone for an early break, but probably d5 is why this wasn't played. If you go c5 here, your bishop looks pretty ugly, and if instead you take that one, well, you're opening the game up for these bishops. This is one of the challenges here. You've got a rook coming to the d-file very, very quickly. So that's why e5 wasn't played just yet. Black continues developing, but played a weird queen move to d7. Really coming to a5 would have been much better to start with, because after queen to d7, Ali Reza brings a rook here, and now if you break with either of these pawns, your queen is just lined up against the rook. So black realized this, moved the queen over, but now you've lost the tempo, of course. And after both players brought rooks into the game, now this queen came to f3, and the black queen moved again for a third time. This is just such a recipe for disaster. Now it came to a5. So it hits the bishop, it hits this pawn. Black's actually giving up a pawn when playing like this. You didn't have to do this, just coming back here. You could have gone bishop e7, held the knight, and then white had a few moves here to apply some pressure, maybe a3, h4. One of the computer moves is kind of weird here, even dropping the bishop back. But it just shows that there's no kind of knockout blow for Ali Reza if Black just played solidly. But instead Black just kind of mixes up plans, so brings the queen out here, attacks the pawn, but then when Ali Reza actually gives up his bishop, wins a pawn, Black doesn't take the pawn on a2, which was really probably the way to go if you're going to go in on this counterplay on the queen side. Now probably Black got spooked by this h4 stuff. You can start running that down, say now you kick the queen, it drops back. If you keep munching pawns, well then h5, this is kind of the problem. You're breaking down this structure, the rooks are coming in, this is a really dangerous attack for white. So when black actually got to this position here, 
instead of taking on a2, that's when black thought, okay, I kind of need to get the queen out of my house here, dropped the bishop back, it nudged back here to e5, and here Ali Rez is actually offering a queen exchange, just saying, okay, I'm a pawn up, I'm happy to play this out, even though it's opposite colour bishops, good chances for me. And black should have taken that queen, actually, it was the best chance to hold the game, but instead it dropped back to b6. And we can see now why this queen journey is just so miserable to all of these squares and then back again. And once again, Ali Reza just ignores the attack on this pawn here. He plays bishop e4, bringing more firepower into the attack. And again, black should just take here. You have to go for some counterplay in this position now. But instead, black played bishop d6. Like I said, this one just keeps bouncing around. It kicks the queen, yes. Now it comes back again. Queen to f3. And now king g7, preparing to bring this rook across, defend down the h-file. But Ali Reza is now just getting everything he wants. He's doubling the rooks. This one comes to the e-file. Now this one lifts, trying to protect, but this is where Ali Reza just absolutely crashes through, obliterates the king position. Can you find the move here? So Ali Reza just smashes through here with bishop takes on g6, double exclam. Now the king recaptured there. If you go with the pawn, you get all of the same themes. The rook is crashing through here. You're attacking the bishop. It's very similar to the game, but you don't even have to give up as much material. So the king captured, and now you guessed it, Ali Reza takes on e6 with the rook. He gives up an entire rook here, because after this one captures with check, the king is just getting cut to shreds. It's actually got nowhere to hide here. And in this position, we actually had a resignation from black. I mean, your rook is dropping off for one thing. If you block with the bishop, that's getting taken. Say the king came back here, well you don't even need to take the rook, you can take here with check, king goes somewhere, and then you invade with the queen. And wherever the king goes here, it's just getting mated, this is one sample line. So a classic Ali Reza smash, if you want to see his immortal queen sack against Daniel Naraditsky, click here. Thanks for watching, see you soon.